Hi, welcome. Uh, in this video, I am going to explain why carbon dioxide, boron trifluoride and carbon tetrachloride are non-polar. Okay, uh, in the uh, one of my video, I explained a trick to find polar and non-polar molecules. You please watch that video to know polar and non-polar molecules. And coming to the rule, the basic rule to say whether a molecule is polar or non-polar, we see the electronegativity difference between the atoms. Okay, so if, for example, if I take carbon dioxide, if I take carbon dioxide, first molecule, here there are two atoms, carbon and oxygen. Carbon electronegativity is 2.55 and oxygen electronegativity is 3.44. See, there is a lot of electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen. So, what we expect? We expect that carbon dioxide should behave as a polar molecule. But in, uh, in contrast, it acts as a non-polar molecule. Let me explain the reason. Here, uh, one thing, uh, two things you have to consider to uh, decide whether a molecule is polar or non-polar. First one is electronegativity difference between the atoms of a molecule. In addition to that, you have to see its molecular structure. If you see carbon dioxide, the structure of carbon dioxide is linear. Okay. The structure of carbon dioxide will be like this. So, it is a linear geometry. It means it is symmetrical in shape. Whenever the molecules are having symmetrical geometry, generally their dipole moment will be cancelled and the net dipole moment of the molecule will be zero. Let me explain this. So, carbon is less electronegative than oxygen. So, the bonded pair has to be pulled towards oxygen. Oxygen has to get a partial negative charge. Carbon has to get pos partial positive charge. Similarly, this oxygen will also pull bonded pair of electrons towards itself and it behaves, it should get a partial negative charge and it should get a partial positive charge. So, here the dipole moment will be in this direction and in this direction. So, you see these two are in opposite directions. So, the net dipole moment, let us say it is 1, mu 1 and mu 2. Mu is the parameter which we showed dipole moment. So, mu 1 plus mu 2 of this becomes 0. Why? Because they are in opposite direction. That is the reason why even though carbon dioxide uh, is having two atoms which are having electronegativity difference, but the net dipole moment becomes 0. Whenever, whenever it is 0, the charge of the molecule is zero. Dipole moment zero means charge of the molecule is zero. Whenever charge is zero, there is no question of polarity. That's the reason why carbon dioxide behaves as a non-polar molecule. So the same concept you can apply for boron trifluoride, carbon tetrachloride, and some other molecules which are not obeying the general uh, rule. That is, even though there is electronegative difference between the atoms, but they behave as non-polar molecule. Why? Because these molecules are having symmetrical geometry means symmetrical structure whenever they are having these are having symmetrical structure automatically net dipole moment of molecule becomes zero so the second molecule you take boron trifluoride the structure of boron trifluoride is trigonal planar trigonal planar and if you see the dipole i mean um, electronegative difference between the atoms boron is 2.04 and uh, let's see boron electronegativity is 2.04 and fluorine is 3. Point, highly electronegative 3.98. So, if you see the only uh, electronegative difference between the atoms, you will assume that it is a polar molecule, but it is not a polar molecule. The reason again the same. So, here because of its symmetrical structure, dipole moment will be in this direction, in this direction, as well as in this direction. Let us say mu1, mu2. The net dipole moment of this molecule becomes 0 because it is having symmetrical structure. Similarly, the other molecule that is carbon tetrachloride. If you take this structure of carbon tetrachloride is tetrahedral, the structure of carbon tetrachloride will be like this. And there will be dipole moment in this direction. You see here the carbon electronegativity is 2.55 and chlorine electronegativity is uh, chlorine electronegativity is 3.16 okay so if you see here there are four 
dipole moment directions in this way, in this way, and in this way towards chlorine. Because chlorine only can pull the bonded pair of electrons towards itself. So, uh, because of its symmetrical geometry, the net dipole moment mu1 plus mu2 plus mu3 plus mu4 becomes zero. Whenever the net dipole moment is zero, the molecule behaves as nonpolar molecule. That is the reason why. So, carbon dioxide, boron trifluoride, carbon tetrachloride, even though they have electronegativity difference between the atoms, they behave as nonpolar. Okay. So, hope you guys understood this concept clearly. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel.